Hi everyone! Nice to see you again. Yeah, it's been a little while. So, I'm just going to quickly run through my excuses slash reasons for why I've been away. So firstly, this is the third time I've actually tried recording this. My memory card decides to delete all the videos that I recently record before I put it onto my computer, which kind of sucks. Secondly, school. Now I hate using this for an excuse, but this time I'm seriously freaking out. It is so stressful at the moment, I've got so much work to do, and I think I might just kill myself. So in May I was in a bit of a reading slump, as I'll explain later on in my wrap up, but yeah. So I didn't get to do much reading and therefore didn't have much else to talk about. And lastly, my eldest cat earlier on in May, she had to get stitches, nothing serious, but I had to spend a lot of time taking care of her and just keeping an eye on her because she was so old, she was about 19, she was really weak, she was also deaf and going blind. So yeah, she needed a lot of taking care of, so that took up quite a bit of my time. She did get better, but um, later on, towards the end of the month, I'm pretty sure her nervous system shut down. She just wasn't able to move, walk, eat, or anything like that. Um, so we had to put her down. She kind of put a damper on things. So I'm going to get on to the books now. So in May, I read one book, and that is A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. So I started this in April, and I got around to finishing it on like the 25th or the 26th of May, so that took up like the entire month. And while I was reading this, I would not let myself start anything else because I would have never finished this, basically. So that's mainly why I was a bit slow on the reading side, and I actually watched the TV show while I was reading it because I couldn't really wait till I actually finished, since I didn't know when that was going to be. Um, so yeah, the TV show was really good, the book was awesome, 5 out of 5 stars, loved it. Now that's all I have to talk about on the wrap up side. It's really sad and kind of pathetic compared to the previous months, but oh well. For June I've decided to read books for review. These are books that I've been sent for review by authors. A couple of them are for book tours which are happening this month, so I actually really need to get through those. And the other two I've just got recently, they sound really awesome. And so yeah, pretty excited to read those. First we have Gone at Zero Hundred by C.R. Hyatt. So this book is about these three friends, Sydney, Cody and Jared. Sydney's mother is like a spy investigator kind of person. She's in like a partnership with this guy called Ace. So Sydney's mother, she is shot and killed and Sydney and her friends decide to take over the business. It's obviously going to be action, a bit of pew pew, you know, that kind of thing. So sounds pretty good. In the Shadow of Vesuvius by Liz Carmichael. I've started reading this one and it's actually quite fitting for what I'm studying at school because I'm looking at Vesuvius and Herculaneum and Pompeii so I kind of know what the context is for this for once. It's set in Italy around 79 AD. It's from the perspective of Mira. She's a slave for this family and she's taking care of this child called Remy. And she has visions and she sees that Herculaneum is going to be buried by Mount Vesuvius's lava eruption, you know. Yeah. So she's trying to escape the family and take Remy along with her as she's vowed to protect him. So it sounds really good and I'm loving it so far. Intangible by Jay Meyer. Now last month I talked about reading this short little like intro called Intuition, and that's for the book Intangible. Got a bit of a insight into what the characters are like and what's going on, and I really, really enjoyed it, so I'm really excited to read this book. It's about these twins, I forgot their names I'm afraid, but the boy, he can see into the future, and the girl, she has the power of healing. Now the male twin, he has a vision that his sister is killed. That sounds pretty intense. <laughs> And I'm just, I'm really looking forward to reading it. Finally, Any Love But Mine by Debbie Davies. This is another Greek mythology book about Eros, who's the god of love. And I forgot what her name is, but this girl, she is pretty much created for him to be his little plaything, I suppose, or something. I'm not entirely sure. But when they first meet each other, he just doesn't want anything to do with her has no interest in her whatsoever, and she is condemned to Earth, where she has to promote love, but she can't actually indulge in love herself with any of the humans. So, 
obviously something's going to happen with a human and that sounds pretty awesome. So I'm really excited for this month. All these books sound really awesome. Looking forward to it and hopefully I can get through these. But anyway, I will see you guys later. So yeah.